As the Seahawks came out of the tunnel at CenturyLink Field, 16-year-old Jake Eastwood could almost reach out and touch them. Really cool, just like seeing the perspective. Wow, <laughs> that's killer. That's after Eastwood and his father toured parts of the stadium most people don't get to see. It's really cool. The press box and its personalities. Great to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice you knew this you. is, right? It's the professor, man. He's the legend. John Clayton. One, two, three. Go Hawks, yeah! Taking pictures on the platform. Yeah, that's cool. Where the 12 flag is raised. I'm usually down there when I see it, so it's like cool seeing another perspective of the view. The ultimate Seahawks experience. Thank you very much, man. Reserved for fathers and sons who have overcome incredible odds. So I was diagnosed with cancer when I was 12. Suddenly, Jake, who lived to play sports, was putting all his passion into battling bone cancer. And after a year of chemotherapy, he was cancer free. Then another setback as doctors discovered the cancer had returned in Jake's knee. From there, I had to get my leg amputated. It was devastating, as you can imagine. Um, it's kind of indescribable. It was hard to hear, but like I just kept a positive attitude through it. And for Jake, attitude is everything. Driving him to compete in every sport imaginable. Wheelchair basketball, golf, swimming, skiing, and surfing. And when his favorite football team drafted Shaquem Griffin, he realized what's possible. It just gave me more motivation to pursue my goals and like, even though I'm an amputee, I can do anything. It's my son Jake. The reason this moment was so memorable. I go to Jackson High School. Go to Jackson Something High School. Mill Creek. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Gotta check you out, man. Yeah. Gotta check you out. As Shaquem welcomed Jake, his dad, and the small group of fathers and sons to the Seahawks practice facility. Look yourself in the mirror. That's the only person that can, that I can shape your life. Offering insight. You can find that one positive thing that you can grab onto and hold on, it's gonna pull you all the way through whatever you're going through. And I wanted them to kind of relate to my story. You have become the ultimate role model for kids with physical and other challenges. Is there pressure in that? I don't feel no pressure because I'm just doing what I'm doing. That's what I want the kids to know is just keep living out your dreams. I'm seeing that you're embracing this role. You're feeling it. I'm starting to get there. <laughs> he was so inspirational and just um, like keep on fighting, even when it gets hard, just like keep on fighting uh, to get my goals. A player who's breaking down barriers while living out his dream and inspiring others to do the same. Let's go Hawks! Yeah.